I have a couple of other articles that I stumbled upon, and uh, I sent them to you. And here's one about coffee, if you'd like to bring that one up. Um, we'll show the f- yeah, good folks sorry, here. One second. <laughs> we'll show the good folks here. Um, let's flip right on over. Now, this is from the good folks at uh, AFRU, AFRU. Um, it's a – now, it doesn't matter. This is a – <laughs> this is a creative. Uh, um, so this is, I is about this. Yeah, this is, is coffee hilarious. racist? How drinking coffee perpetuates white supremacy? Hold on, I was talking over you, just in case anybody didn't hear. Is coffee racist? Yeah, <laughs> how drinking coffee <laughs> perpetuates white supremacy? Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're a person of color, you know what I'm talking about. You walk into a new coffee shop and your senses are overwhelmed with whiteness, and you get the glare from the Karens. The white hipster barista lines herself up between you and the bathrooms, ready to tell you non-customers aren't welcome. Where are you what? going? Where? Why would you go back to that place? And also, why the fuck if that's how it is? And all, and and here. And also, it's not. <laughs> and it's not. You're, this never happened. And also, yeah. how about if you're if you have such a problem with going to a place full of people, go to a coffee shop in a black neighborhood? What's wrong with that? But also, nobody in the fucking West acts like this. They're, what I know what they're referencing. No, there was a couple that, of black homeless guys that were kicked out of a Starbucks or a coffee shop or whatever, and it made headlines across the fucking you know news cycle for five minutes. And then they were told that they cannot no longer tell anyone that they can't sit in the fucking store for all day long. And yeah. that's what they're referencing. And I they're, remember that. they're yeah, acting yeah. as if this is a common occurrence for, you know, black business people going in to get a fucking macchiato. No, it fucking yeah. no, isn't. No, 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 It's not. No, it isn't. No, the white, the white <laughs> hipster barista. They want all, you would there. Fucking, they, they would trip all over themselves mm-hmm. to have people perceive you as their friend. You know? Yes. <laughs> like, that's In fact, all they, they yeah. would want they will to go be cool with you. Out of their way to oh. become yeah. friends with you so they could tell people that you're friends. And that's it. Um, now, if it's a homeless person and they're going in there and pissing in the corner... Then yeah, you're probably they're probably going to get a, a certain reaction from oh, the, and from the when staff. you work in when you work in like a downtown area or like in a busy area and you're constantly dealing you you will will constantly be dealing with insane people yeah that's one of the weirdest things about having like a low level job at a store or a yeah you just have to fuck, yeah in one of those busy areas part of your job is like fucking yeah dealing with literal fucking nutcases yeah the milky time. eye and she probably just Case got sick point. of it and was like get the fuck out of here you know yes um who um, can blame her. No, but now she's a hipster barista who's fucking <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who's lining herself who's up, ready between. to tell you non-customers <laughs> yeah. aren't welcome. Okay, so if you now listen to this one, if you have a white coffee drinking friend, he or she may even let you in on the old coffee joke: white coffee drinkers share when people of color aren't around. <clears throat> Quote: oh, What's this one? There are three things that are necessary in order to make a cup of coffee. They are, first, a black man to roast the coffee, second, a yellow man to grind it, and third, a white man to drink it. What the fuck are you talking... Who are you hanging out with? A, that's not even a joke. Nope. That's a... Yeah, that's that. Where did you get that? Did you did you look that up? Like racist coffee jokes on Google and that's (laughs) what you found? In fact, I'm going to do that, actually. Um, But what... What is that? I, this this is was the, a common joke because I drink a lot of coffee. This is not a I'm joke, not a, and I'm and I'm not a sensitive person. Yeah, this would have I would have heard my life. Yeah, I look point. the most this. racist people I know in my life never yeah. would have heard this joke, never would say this joke. First of all, it's not funny. It makes no sense because jokes that are fucking poking fun at race usually make sense in some capacity. Whether because, or not, but also you left out the Jew that sells it to the white man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so, Jew you know. to collect all the profits. Um, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just that th- this is what I'm saying, though. These notions that are that are being pushed like this. There's a certain segment of people that look at this and go, "Oh my God, we have to do something about this." No, you don't. It's not real. This isn't fucking real. Just because somebody wrote this and writes shit about things like this. Uh, Every facet of the coffee industry, in fact, is rooted in racism. From the moment the whites viciously stole coffee from black and brown people to present-day Karen sipping her morning cup of white supremacy, whites have been able to drink the fruits of our labor and our culture with impunity. 
dude, you just hate white people. That's all this I'm is. I'm assuming who wrote this? A lady. This by is uh, by the Afro staff. So this is just, know. I guess, a conglomeration of people that work at this. And this is a fashion fucking site. Sounds like a lady <laughs> wrote it, but I'm, I'm going to say this lady is very clever, and she won me over by using <laughs> Karen. Yes. And that's obviously something that that's you cutting guys know. Edge. That's like, you know, how can we help but be impressed by that? Yeah. It's just fucking amazing that she was able to think of that. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah. What are, and, and here's the thing is us, two white, mostly white men, <clears throat> talking about this when it was written by people of color is d damnable in a lot of people's minds right now. Like we I don't, don't get, anymore. I don't give a fuck Whatever. either anymore. I don't care. Yeah. I am tired of being told what I can and can't have a fucking opinion about. Um, yeah, nah, it's stupid. no, it, it's look, you're putting something out in the fucking public zeitgeist. I'm the public. So fucking shut up and quit making things up. Um, he's he's the public and I'm Zeitgeist. You're yeah. listening to public and zeitgeist. zeitgeist in the AM. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Hey public. Hey Zeitgeist. Welcome to Coffee oh. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I'm all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I've had a lot of white supremacy Sorry. today. <laughs> so fucking dumb dude um yeah but yeah uh <laughs> all right we got a couple minutes here but yeah i i don't i look okay let's read a little bit more into this <clears throat> yeah go ahead there's nothing more important to black folks than learning more about their rich history and embracing the unequaled creativity and genius of their blackness okay fine that's yeah learn everything you can about your your past that's cool good um, it's only recently that historians have begin to re begun to recognize the achievements of black people from building the pyramids to composing classical symphonies to creating the day-to-day -day life fuel of the white supremacist capitalist system. Wait, what? It's true. The history of coffee is both fascinating and tragic, writes Phyllis Johnson, founder of BD Imports. In strong black coffee, why aren't African African Americans more prominent in the coffee industry? What the <laughs> Who spends dude? their time this way, dude? That's oh crazy. Oh my god! What? <laughs> it's just fucking hilarious. It's, I don't know, like, why? I like, but get who's, it. Like, you wrote a book about? Yeah, this? like I don't want to make fun of racial things. I fucking don't. But when you put oh, yeah, forward so me. fucking such absurd uh, allegations and propositions. Well, then you're, you know, you're going to be skewered by people that have some sort of a rational base in reality and live in reality. Okay. Yeah. You've lived you're all be... over the country. I've lived all over the fucking place. This, it's not a fucking, coffee is not a racist thing. Everyone drinks coffee and nobody goes, yeah, got, got one over on them fucking black folk today. Sipping my Joe. Nobody get. Nobody equates it with you. The only way that they would ever is that you put out a piece like this, and now you've put it into people's minds. Now maybe some actually racist people will think, "Hey, I'm getting also, it over on you know. I'll, I'm going to drink more coffee or something." I don't know what the fuck I this have, is. I have seen tons of black people that work at coffee shops over the years. Of course, like all over the country. It's not an uncommon thing to see fucking someone of pretty much any, any kind of person yeah. at, a, at, a, at a coffee shop. Like, yeah, depending every, on the demographics like, of the area, you're going to just have a cross not, section of the people. Yeah. It doesn't fucking matter. In this fact, is not, yeah. And it, what's hilarious about that is, like, actually, you know, just uh, through America's history, historically, coffee shops have been one of the most inclusive and uh like accepting places yeah. that there have been and a place like an exchange of ideas and art and all kinds of shit there's a strong american tradition of inclusivity in coffee shops yeah coffee this the coffee nuts. industry yes it's this like, is the most yeah i i really just don't understand the more i think about it the more insane it seems to me <laughs> these propositions like, well it's going to get more insane after, when we come back from the break because they don't stop at coffee. Let me just say that. Um, okay, because they, but they must have put some type of thought into this. That's what's alarming about it. Is like I think they know they're lying. That's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, of course know? they do. Like, this is this is yeah, a business. I, this is a cottage industry now, 
and it just yeah. makes people money. It gets clicks. It fucking, but also it divides the country and it makes needless, uh, you know, confrontation in or or contention in people's minds. That's what this fucking does, and that's why I don't like it. I'm not a fan yeah. of needless, uh, you know, strife. I'm glad you said. I'm glad you said "delis" instead of the rest of the word <laughs> I thought you were about to say. <laughs> He said, get it? You said, I'm not a fan of needless. needless. I was very relieved. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, folks. We're going to be back.